Hi guys, checking in with my for my weekly. Um, I did post a monthly update yesterday, so that's a previous video to this one to see how I did in July. I was really chuffed with that. Um, but moving on to just for the week. Um, my my stepson has arrived. He came yesterday. He's twelve, and he's going to be with us for two weeks. Although in the middle week, he he's going up to Yorkshire with my partner, so I'll be home alone for a week. Um, but while he's here, he wants to do the whole eating nonsense shebang, and I don't blame him. He's twelve. Um, yesterday, Saturday was super busy for me. My partner was going traveling half the country to go and get him and um, bring him back, which meant I spent the whole day cleaning and tidying and getting ready for him. And by the time that the guys got back and I was pooped, they were knackered as well. Uh, we had a Chinese. Which the, the day before, Dwayne is not a good idea. And so when I got on the scale this morning, it was up too. But water weight, plus I've also not been drinking a lot of water this last week. Um, so I'm fairly sure most of that's water. I have not been exercising a great deal this week. I think I only did it once. Um, I work in a sort of mentioned before. I work in a quite for a, a small team of people, and my line manager is off. She's almost three weeks. She's got the whole period, and we're just she's back next end of next week. Um, because it's such a small company, a lot of it will then fall on other people, which a lot of it for the day to day stuff is me. Um, and then also sadly, my director, um, dad died, which is awful for her, and um. So again, there's a lot there's more pressure. So I was working like long, really long days, working for my lunch. It's been very stressful. So um, not anything major has happened. It's just there's lots of work to do. And I feel, I want to obviously make sure everyone I work with isn't overburdened because um, they need support. And so it's just that kind of stuff to do with clients and projects um, that I could do without the asshole, really. I, I like to coast. I've had, I was a call centre manager in a previous job and I was doing about 60, 70 hours a week, earning lots of money. I know Mabel, she likes the sign of the money, don't I? Um, and it was really, I was great at my job and I loved it. Fortunately, the company went into administration during the last recession and um, I always, but to be fair, by the end of the company, the company was folding. I had got to a point where it was making me ill anyway and I was I was obviously bigger and not sleeping. I was having sleep apnea, so I was being sick in my sleep. Um, my hair was falling out. I was a really stressed out person. And now, um, uh, you know, seven years later, eight years later, nine years later, I don't want a stressful job. I want a job where I can absolutely coast. I've done my thing. I, I climbed the ladder. I worked really hard. I was recognised by my peers and in the industry. I was headhunted in the industry, but I was ill from it. And I don't want to do that again. But um, temporarily, once a year, I have to do this thing where my colleague, my manager does definitely deserve a holiday. She worked really hard. And it means I have to do this once a year. I did it last year as well. One of my last videos, this time last year. So, um bit of wibbly wobbly time at the moment and because of that my meal planning and stuff is really up, really up in the air and my exercise is up in the air tomorrow is monday i i'm working partial week this week because my manager is back and i'm doing a handover to her and having some time off so i can have a break um so tomorrow is monday i'm working half a day and then i think we're going swimming in the afternoon um monday um Tuesday, I'm working. Wednesday, I'm working for all day and it'll probably be quite hectic. I can't imagine me having a break, but I'm home alone. So when I get home, I've got a bit more flexibility to do exercise and stuff from home. Thursday, I'm working a half day, at the, allegedly, but you'll probably end up working a full day because of the stuff. And Friday, I'm off. My manager is back. And then I'm off next week. Um, with my stepson, I'll be back on Tuesday night. So it's just a real messy couple of weeks now. Um, trying to keep in daily exercise, stick to plan. Um, yeah, that, that's that's the goal at the moment. It's really hard. There's always temptation everywhere. And trying. To, I'm having some downtime. You know, I kind of get into a, like a slope of just not wanting to do anything. Apart from play Fortnite, which is what I'm playing now. Um, but yeah, 
to trying to break those habits and stick to being good so i've got a little haul for you it, it was fairly poor i've got three tiny hauls actually um and i've not done a lot of good prepping um yeah so i'll show you my hauls first and then i'll talk to you about meal prep for next week Okay, so I've got a mini, mini, first mini haul of the week. Uh, went off to work to Mark's and Spencer's, which is a very nice shop here in the UK. And picked up some yellow stickers, which I thought was useful. I well, grabbed some nuts at full price because they're running low. Grabbed two of these. I've never, ever seen these anywhere. Um, yeah, like new. And I've never seen it in any other mainstream supermarket. I know it's really common in the, in the US, but I've always wanted it here because I don't have versatile this is. So um, these are coleslaw mixes without any of the sort of mayonnaise or anything. And <clears throat> there's uh, in here five carbs per 100 grams. So it's like 15 carbs, which is quite a lot. But I wouldn't have all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to freeze them. And we're going to do things like in a slow cooker. I'm just going to throw in half a packet, which I thought would be a good idea. Um, just to give, you know, if I'm making something, I thought it would be quite a handy thing to have. Uh, I did actually end up playing 36 p for both because I scanned that one twice. And accidentally, accidentally, genuinely, I was like, why is this thing coming up at 67p? And the woman just shrugged, she didn't care. So, yeah. Also got a carrot and bean and broccoli mix. It's a little bit high in carb. So I know that crunchy noise is super loud. Um, so for quarter 3.6. So the whole of this is going to be like 13 carbs. So I might have like half of that uh, one day and then half the next. So I might actually have half that tomorrow. Got a little cheeky avocado. Still overpriced in my opinion. But there you go. And I also grabbed this because Peanut, one of my subscribers, recommended this book from The Works, which is a shop, a bargain bookshop here in the UK. And I've got a few recipe books for keto, and they always got like seven zillion ingredients. But this one, I appreciate, has got a lot less. So um, anything that's got easy recipes, with, I mean, that's got loads in it because of a dressing, but those, I don't like recipes where you have to buy like loads of stuff that you'll never use again for any other recipe. I appreciate ones that they don't. Sloppy Joe lettuce cups, that sounds good. I've never had Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, so oil, onions, green pepper, turkey, chilli, Dijon. These are like normal foods that you could actually use again. Yeah, nothing weird there. I think I'm going to give those some of these a go. So thank you, Peanut. Ooh. Oh, that sounds nice. Thank you, Peanut, for the recommendation. I'm going to go through this and see if I can make things. Um, oh, lovely. Somebody's done a few. <laughs> I get a little bit annoyed, but... Let's see. Anyway, so that's my mini haul for uh, night time. And I just thought I'd share my little bits and pieces with you. Hey guys, so I'm back with my haul. Do not panic. Doof. Mm, doof, I know. So the reason why I've got all this here is my stepson's here for, well, he's here with us for two weeks. But in the, for a week in the middle, he goes to his grandma's. So um, <clears throat> because he's here and he's 12, I've got, he wants junk. Um, he's on holiday, so we kind of indulge him. We still force vegetables down his throat, but, you know, just cram them down. So he wanted a pizza. So we got pizza, and I got myself the ingredients for making my own pizza. So fathead dough will be happening, making uh, making some of that. And I got some pizza topping and some pepperoni slices. So they'll be having that. I'll be having that. Grab some chicken. I'm just showing you that. Obviously, it's not keto, but just to show you what I'm doing is my alternative. Got some chicken for making things. He wants barbecue chicken. Oh, so I will probably make um, Frank's hot sauce chicken for myself and barbecue. Basically, sugared chicken. It's barbecue chicken, isn't it, really? Uh, so he'll be getting that, and I'll probably have Frank's hot sauce. Um, got some snacky things, which all three of us like, and some ham for their sandwiches and stuff, and I'll probably finish it off when they go to grandma's. Um, I've got some cheese just for, um, well, they're having burger buns and I will be having lettuce wraps. So we're having, I'll be having cheeseburgers. I've got a pack of bacon as well in the fridge. So we'll probably have bacon cheeseburgers. Probably tonight. Probably tonight. So I'll be having my new wraps. And not from the same haul, but I also grabbed a load of mixed nuts. I make my own sort of mix, trail mix. I mix everything up together and just take 25 grams at a time. There, obviously there are cashews which are higher. Dry roasted, which has got nonsense on the outside, 
but I'm not too fussed because it, once it all gets mixed in, um, <clears throat> with I've got some um, other almonds I think as well. I mix it all up. I just take an average, and it's really nice. The mix of salts and uh, dry roasted and all the things are really good. So that is the weekly shot. Oh, I also got my pop and my almond milk because <laughs> I need my coffee. So that's it for this week. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I'll probably do a top up during the week when they go to grandma's for um, my stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get a few more bits in the week as well. Um, I think I need to get some Greek yogurt and some fruit, I think. So, yeah, that's the main shop haul, though, this week from Sainsbury's. Hey, so I'm going down to the shops. It's Sunday. And we had our shopping delivered yesterday. But I realised I didn't really get myself anything for, like, lunches and stuff. So I'm going to pop out and get my bits for the week. Oh, my hair looks silly. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking, like, some sort of... Um, I'm not going to a big supermarket. I'm going to, like, a budget shop. So I'm thinking stuff like for deli boxes, like chicken and things like that. But it's a really good bargain shop. And what you get there changes every week. So I am going to take a look, see what they have, see what's a bargain. And uh, fill my lunchbox for, for the next week. So the trip was a bit of a bust really in terms of quality. Um, got this chicken there's it's pretty like exceptionally low there's not a lot of junk and it's mostly like spices and stuff so I'm just gonna roast this up and have like picky chicken for lunches uh, grab some olives three for a pound so yeah olives you can't really mess up olives this is real junky but I'll only have a couple a day just in my box for a variety I'm trying to avoid processed meat but this week is just not happening um, go to pack of eggs um, go for the free range at the barn Got some nice chamomile tea, um, some fruity waters, um, which is probably for my stepson really, and just some chicken. So that's my very bad choices lunches for the week. I probably will grab things on the go anyway. So for meal prep, as you can see, um, I didn't, I was not, I was panicked about, I was buying stuff for my stepson and my partner to make sure they're all okay and really forgot about myself in my main shop. So I've had to... Um, buy those little bit extra top ups and even then that's not quite what I need the plans for next week for um, eating during the week while I'm at work is going to be deli boxes so I'm going to do olives some cooked, that cooked meat at the foot that I bought at the end um, some pickles and um, I'm going to boil some eggs and if I do exercise have me some protein shake as well which is due this week um so that's kind of my plan and for the evening i'm not prepped any food this week one well, partly well actually i've got time to do it today because my stepson is 12 so he's started to get a moustache it's really cute and his voice is starting to get a little bit it's a bit early i think and um but he's gotten to that point where he wants to spend all day in bed playing xbox and he's on holiday and i would have appreciated it at that age just to be left alone to do my own thing so today he's doing that so i could have done it today but i wasn't quite sure where he was going to be so the plan is next week from Tuesday night onwards, I'm on my own for a full week. Next weekend, I'm going to be bored out of my brain by that point. I'm going to be spending um, some time um, doing some uh, a meal prepping weekend. So what I want to do this week is clear the freezer. I want to have, I've got some old meals I've cooked in the bottom there. Eat those this week um, just to clear the space um, and have a little look, see, see what I've got. Um, I've got things like I've got a Thai, um, a fish, a Thai fish curry. I think I've got in there. I've got a, a gammon ready meal. I've got um, some fish and some veggies. What else have I got in there that's pre cooked? I think I've got cauliflower cheese. I've got squeaking and loud Mabel. She's gone. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of stuff in the freezer. I want to start working my way through and just eating that to clear space for other things. And I've got like, some chicken fillets and stuff like that, that I can grill. Um, it's going to be very, you know, it's not boring, but that's what that food's there for. It's for kind of emergencies. Um, but I want to clear it all out and I'll do some meal prep. I'm going to have a meal prep in weekender. Um, making some plans, I think, in some lasagna. Ragu pork again, which is really good. Um, maybe a beef curry. 
um, and I might do some fat head pizza dough thing, uh, make some mini pizzas, how does that sound? Uh, and just stock up my freezer for really good handy ready meals. Um, and oh, some, some peri peri chicken, I think, with cauliflower rice, garlic cauliflower rice. Um, yeah, I think that's my plans for next week's meal prepping weekend. But I'm just gonna cook loads, fill up my freezer, and um, yeah, keep myself busy, to be honest with you. Um, also, spoiler alert, we have had on reserve for about six weeks a kitten, and the rescue centre where we got. Mabel and her brother Morgan who passed away at Christmas from um they have because they know us we've passed all their checks and stuff already we think Mabel needs a sibling so we don't even know if it's a boy or a girl we've picked out this kitten and uh, purely because of the way it looks and I'll put a photograph in um as you can see it looks like um this cat can't put its makeup on properly <laughs> Now, when the girls, they start to do the highlighter thing with a pen um, and they start to learn how to blend and they don't have to blend properly. That's what this cat looks like. We've, called it, we've already called it Doodle, Doodle the cat. So we're so looking forward to Doodle coming. I mean, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Well, it doesn't matter, really. Um, it's going to be neutered and all that stuff and vaccinated. So we think it's going to be good ca ca company for Mabel. She's a very needy girl. She needs lots of attention and love and reassurance. And uh, I think it'd be a really good playmate for her. Plus, it's a rescue and it needs a home. So, yeah, that may happen next weekend. So, if Doodle's with us next weekend, I'll be home alone with Doodle for a few days before my partner gets back. And I will share Doodleness with you. Um, I might do in the week as well a, like, a full day of eating video um, for my, like, on-the-fly crazy lunch uh, and dinner from the freezer thing. Uh, if anyone's interested... Also, maybe a bit of my exercises plans as well. Um, yeah, so that is what's happening, guys. Sorry, it's a bit of a weird one. Sorry about the Chinese. I am sorry, actually. It was, I wasn't worth it. And I was lazy. Well, I was tired. They're different. Um, but I could have, could have, should have, would have. Um, but these things happen. So, plowing on. Gonna be good. I want to get back into those two eight. I want to get into those two eighties and get it done. I want to get August smashed out uh, and crack on. So thank you so very much for watching. I will see you. I'm sure during the week. Have a fabulous week, everyone, and um, I will see you soon.